shoes. We all need shoes. These are my shoes today. I love these shoes. Hi, it's March 30th and this is your daily devotion. I'm talking about shoes because shoes are important. We all need shoes and there's a lot of sayings about shoes so you know that that's a big part of our life. Walk a mile in my shoes. Um, he has big shoes to fill. We can say with confidence and with joy that Jesus has walked in our shoes. As we read in Philippians 2, beginning uh, now in verse 6, though he was in the form of God, he did not consider being equal with God something to exploit. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a slave and by becoming like human beings. When he found himself in the form of a human, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Thanks be to God, we are not expected to be martyrs, but we are called to be there for one another to walk in the way that Jesus walked, to try to walk in Jesus' shoes, if that were possible, in the smallest of ways, in the ways that come from our heart, uh, in ways of love and compassion. And if you read the first part of that scripture, that's what uh, the writer was talking about. Uh, give yourself to one another. As I was thinking about this, <clears throat> I remembered uh, a small thing that happened that ended up being kind of a big thing when I was um, working in the Department of Education. We had a program for family literacy and we had recently hired several new folks and many of those folks had actually graduated uh, through our program and received training and had become teachers in our program. So we went to a conference in Gatlinburg and this was the very first time many of those folks had been to a professional conference and they were all very eager to be appropriate and they all were uh, and it was great. One of the young women uh, had bought new shoes and she was probably the most worried about you know doing everything just right. So all of the friends, they, they were friends, went down uh, on some free time into Gatlinburg to have a fun day. And her new shoes were just killing her feet. And she, you know, tried to make the best of it. And she said, I just can't do it. I'm going to have to go back to the room. And all of her friends said, no, 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 here, try our shoes. So they tried to swap with her. Uh, they tried to give her looser fitting sandals and ways that she could walk uh, and not be in pain. And none of it worked and she didn't want to take their shoes anyway. And she said, no, no, I'll just go back. And they said, no, 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 we want you to be with us. Just take your shoes off and go barefooted. And she was, you know, no, I won't. I'm not gonna be the only one going barefooted. So they all bent down and took off their shoes and said, we're all going barefooted. And so she could take hers off and they had a wonderful time together. Well, none of them thought very much about that. They just knew that they cared about her and, and they wanted to make her comfortable and, and uh, be with them in that day. So when they all came back to the room, this young lady came to my room. I wasn't with them, I was working on a presentation. And she came in and said, why would people be that nice to me. I've never known anyone to go out of their way just to be kind to me. And I wonder what that's about. She said, and I've noticed that you all are Christians. I've seen you praying at work and I wonder what's that all about? Well, right then and there, we talked about what that was all about. We had a Gideon's Bible and she entered the kingdom 
uh, joyfully and began attending church regularly. And uh, wow, you know, God is good. Sometimes you just need to do the smallest things with the greatest love. Love that just is real, that is God love, that comes from the inside out. So maybe you'll have an opportunity to do a very simple act of real love. In fact, I'm sure you will. Happy Holy Week. Have a great day.